And we actually have a very special guest here on the special. Uh, he is the star of the new film Lemon, and you've seen him in hundreds of comedy things. Please give it up for Brett Gelman. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's great to see you. It's great to great see to you. Great to meet you. You look really sharp. Hello, everyone. Thank you. You your, know, Your I whole try. thing is that you're, you're very colorful. My thing is I'm very drab. Right. Well, I live in Los Angeles now, you know. Uh -huh. You can be colorful all year. You know, I've never left. And you can wear bright clothing and not worry about it getting dirty. Never left the tri-state area. You haven't? No. You should try that, maybe. No. What do you prefer, the West Coast or the East Coast? I like them both, yeah. but I prefer to live on the West Coast now since I live there, and uh, that's what I should tell myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, you're I certainly do. Getting, I like a... getting your, uh, your, your helping of East Coast, because I'm kind of, that's like my deal. You know? Right, no, you're very East Coast. Yeah. You're very East Coast. Yeah. No, you scream it. You yeah. scream it. I'd I... say it's more of a whimper, but yeah, oh well. Yeah. I scream both, I think, and that's, you know, I like to represent both coasts. So I like it, I like them both. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be noncommittal, but, you know, I think, uh, I think that's maybe an important thing to be in this day and age, don't you? Well, uh, I'm never one for commitments. Uh, right. Usually people are breaking them on me, so. My meaning is that everybody is always, you know, uh, like, taken aside without really thinking about the side they're actually taking a lot of the time having an opinion without really thinking it through. Mm. What's, what's, what, what sparks this, this thought in your mind? Is it is something going on uh, in your life or maybe in, in culture? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's very much uh, in culture right now. Yeah, don't you? I, don't you? I don't really keep uh, track of popular culture if you can't well, not tell even, by my not whole Not necessarily thing. popular culture, you know. Uh -huh. Politics, right? Politics, yeah. A lot of shit being thrown out there without really thinking it through, right? This is true. This is true. <laughs> On uh, the right side, the right side I'm yeah. talking about. I think, I think everybody got that. Yeah. Yeah. But even on the left a little bit. On the right? little bit. Now, everybody's guilty a little bit. I don't know. It's like you repost an article. You think you're really doing something. Re you're not really doing anything. Like on a bulletin board? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... That's what social media is, right? It's a big bulletin okay. board, wouldn't you say? I, I Let's wouldn't not know. get too into it. You know what I'm talking about, John. Uh, my social media is those uh, poems that they hang on the subway. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. That is really great. So What's you're a your... movie star now. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's, I'm glad you think that. You got this new film, Lemon. Yeah. Uh, you made it with, with, your, with your lovely wife. Yes, she made it and I acted in it. We wrote it together, but it was very much made by her, I would say. Now, now how does that affect, because I've never been married, and uh, uh, how does that affect day-to-day uh, uh, -day life when you're working on this big project together? Um, well, uh, I think we went into it with an agreement. I mean, uh, if, you've, if you ever met my wife, you would know that uh, she's not one who, to uh, be taking orders from anyone. So, mm -hmm. you know, and she has a very specific vision, John. And, uh, and so I, it was her idea. I was very much along for the ride. I was more of like a, you know, a, a sounding board a lot of the time. But, you know, we would, it's not like there's not me in the writing of the movie. But everything else, I had no... I had no say in whatsoever. Now, is this your first collaboration, or has it mostly been like, uh, what are we going to get for dinner, honey? As I imagine <laughs> married people say to each other. Yeah. That, what are we going to get for dinner, honey, is one of our most well-known collaborations. <laughs> mm. That's said by me. Mm -hmm. And then she says, why don't you make a decision, you worthless piece of shit? <laughs> uh, been there. Be a man. Uh, no. Uh, we, I, her first short, I was in her first few short films. Mm -hmm. um, but I only acted in those, and then I helped produce them. But, uh, and I don't mean only, like, I think of acting as a very superior art form, John. <laughs> and, uh, and then we have pitch shows and things like that. But, you know, can't really get into that. It's not very real yet, but hopefully becomes more real, you know? Well, sometimes the things that aren't real are the best things in life. <laughs> 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 
What do you mean? I mean, I, I think I know what you mean, but in what do you mean? In your new film, explain? you play a yeah. uh, <laughs> sort of like a really self-involved, delusional, socially awkward guy who has, uh, you know, yeah, urinary uh, tract problems. Uh, Maybe. Uh, I wouldn't say that he has urinary tract problems. Okay. In but I guess if, yeah, I mean, you know, he... I have your... Well, I was right. kind of saying it describes me you to You piss your team. pants a lot? Don't... <laughs> you don't have to spell it out like that, but yes. Yes, oh. I do. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Right. You made a movie it's about not, it. It's not... No, it's... <laughs> no, it's not... It's not problems with incontinence. No, mm -hmm. I wouldn't classify it as that. Incontinence has very little to do with the film. How much of you is in this character? How much of me? Yes. So much of me is in every single character I play, John. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'd say it's very much inspired by both Janixa, that's the director's name, uh, Janixa Bravo, and my own uh, dread of uh, failure and uh, never becoming what we wanted to be and never having the tools to become that. Something I imagine you could relate to, right? I mean, I, I had a dread of failure once because I failed to wash my hair for a few months. Oh. And I got a weird dread in it. Oh. <laughs> and you called that the dread of <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'd say I wouldn't call that a failure. I'd say you made the most out of that situation. That's right. And now I use a uh, now I get that bar in there every uh, every morning. A bar? Yeah. You wash your hair with a bar of soap. <laughs> it's drying, right? Wouldn't that dry it out? I don't know. Does it look dry? Um. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, I mean, maybe you, a You little, were talking about your characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made uh, so many characters. Yes. Like, cracked out. So many. Oh, cracked out. Got a little ra rapper's duo. Yeah, that was racist. I think that was racist. <laughs> Looking back, that was racist. We weren't, we didn't mean to be, uh, we were just clueless. We thought, like, we were commenting on, uh, on white rappers, but it was, you know, once enough people of color say that you're racist when you're doing that, I mean, I think you have to take their word for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, I love hip hop. It wasn't making fun of it or anything like that. But I don't know, probably shouldn't have been wearing do-rags. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good idea. I it's wouldn't know good... anything about having a history of being a white rapper either, so. Uh, uh, and then, and then uh, another- no, wouldn't. Another former project yeah. <laughs> was called uh, 1,000 Cats. Ah, yes. Now, that I'm proud of. That was really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 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 if you could give a, a, a real quick s it summary It was a metaphor this. for uh, he, uh, spiritual evolution. Mm -hmm. I thought of, you just of humanity, like a... of humanity. And instead of uh, humans representing humans, uh, I made the human beings cats. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And it was a guy playing all of that. I mean, it's really it about a guy. A thousand and, cats. A thousand that's, cats. I think that's the real key to it. Yeah. I mean, I was in a unitard and cat ears mm -hmm. and played all these different cats. And uh, yeah, I mean, and the character's basically like lost his mind. And you know, Cats is back on Broadway. Is it? Yeah. yeah. No, I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good for good for Andrew Lloyd Webber. Right? God, I was worried about him. Remember those old commercials that they play on WPIX where it'd just be like cats. Yeah, I do. Cats. Yeah. Uh, would, would you would you bring back one thousand cats for maybe a, a one time thing? Oh my God, I don't know. That's so. Uh, that's very much in the past. Maybe I'll do it like unplugged. All right. The floor is I'll yours. I'll dress like Kurt Cobain. <laughs> I, I don't remember it all oh. right now. Um, I have to memorize a lot of things, John. Uh, speaking of memorizing things, yeah, you uh, must have had to memorize your lines, or maybe you didn't, in your recent appearance on T Twin Peaks. Oh! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I did have to memorize my lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, I mean, it could be improvisational. Yeah. It could be like, just wing it, David Lynch. Just wing it! Uh, that doesn't could. make any sense to me. What's I mean, I, he like? He's a very nice man. Uh -huh. Yeah, he creates a very positive environment. Uh, is, yeah. is it, does it feel as weird as it seems when you're watching it? I mean, uh, like off camera or while you're doing it? Like, like while you're doing it, While yeah. you're doing it? I mean, it feels like 
um, that's part of your, I don't know if that's just happening or if it's my subconscious as like being a huge fan of his that I start and that the actors start to imbue it with his energy and with like that dreamlike energy. But I feel like he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Like he says action and somehow magically uh, you are suddenly in his, his dream.